What do you think we're going to learn about today? Use the pictures and the map on the board to help you. The extension. Can you name geographical features in this area? So today we're learning all about Yorkshire, our local area. So your title today is Yorkshire. In this lesson today, we're going to investigate where we live. We're going to describe the location of Yorkshire. We're going to explain a journey through the local area and then to justify the importance of Yorkshire. Our key terms for today are region, local and counties. Key terms for the lesson today. Region. How a country is divided into areas. England is split up into nine different regions. Counties. Regions are split up into counties. England is split into 48 different counties. Local. The geography of a small area or an area close by. Describe the location of Yorkshire. There are three different figures on the screen. Figure one shows Yorkshire on a regional map. Figure two shows towns and cities in Yorkshire. And figure three shows Yorkshire on a national map. What should I include in the location description in geography? The country it's in, named examples of surrounding counties and compass points. Extension. Explain why it is important to use geographical directions in a location description. So a new student may be coming to our school from a different area. They've never been to Yorkshire before. It is important that they explore the local area that we live in. You are going to plan a Yorkshire day out for them. You must include three locations to visit, a free and low cost option, transport, a local delicacy, two geographical features, an explanation for each location, and you must be able to do the trip in one day. So let's not go from Whitby to the Yorkshire Dales down to Hull. So if I was going to do this task, I'd definitely start at Betty's in Harrogate for a fat rascal. What are you going to plan for your Yorkshire day out? <laughs> 